Hey, I'm Andy. We're back with Slay the Spire. We're just going to continue off with this run, and hopefully we'll get through it. It is the farthest I've been with this deck. It's the, the first character, and we've gotten some neat cards, So, and we have some neat artifacts. So hopefully we'll do well, and let's see. The left path seems very, very one-track, but it does offer a lot of good stuff. And a lot of question marks too. So it has two campfires right there, but it also has an elite right in the middle. So let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, looters or looter and a mugger. So let's do intimidate. Get the weak, so we don't take that much damage. So we can do headbutt. Although we have nothing to put back, I probably should have done the other stuff first. Uh, Already starting off with a misplay, right? We'll just do... Body Slam. So we're gonna lose some gold. Lose some health, that's fine. Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of at least one to get our, our money back. So let's see... Thunderclap seems good. Same with the Reaper. We won't be able to defend, but... We will heal 12, whereas this one we will just take 15. Whereas if we do the Reaper, we'll take 8. Let's do Thunderclap. And then with the Reaper... Oh, we got rid of one. Okay, so that's a lot better. We can still defend too, because I, I totally forgot we have the Busted Crown. So... We'll take five. All right, so the opponent's at 34. And do cleave. So this will do 33. And the opponent's not vulnerable. This would, oh, we have enough. So we'll just do a perfected strike into a cleave. All right, now we heal back all of our health. That's good. We got a flux potion, which uh, might, maybe that's like a as a final turn type of deal. We got a flux. Okay, so it's basically the flux potion, but this is uh, yep, because of the crown we get the energy, but then we just take what we uh, are forced. Basically, we don't have a ch we don't have a choice. All right, before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit, let's pray. So we can upgrade a card. So no. Block is not removed at the start of your turn. Block, so this one costs one less. Sure. I like that. So next up is a shelled parasite. At the end of this turn, gain 14 block. Receiving a block damage reduce the plated armor by one. So we can't really do Reaper right now. Let's do the Bash. Let's see what our options are. We can do Thunderclap. Into. So we want more vulnerables, right? Hmm. So do Cleave into a pommel strike, so that reduces it to 12. We'll take 12, but that's fine. All right, so let's do, what can we do? We do perfect a strike, but let's do iron wave first. Actually, do I, really want... I can't do perfect a strike, that's that seems fine. And then we can do Iron Wave to get rid, get down the plate armor down to 10. And then us, we can, I think I'm gonna defend, just so can we negate the 12 damage. All right. So now we have to get through 10 damage, which it's fine. We can always do that with the Pommel Strike. So we can do Barricade as well. Can do all of this. So apply one a week. Let's do barricade. 
Just, I mean, it's, I think it's better to do the barricade than not. Although, would I have been able to get rid of, I, I, w I don't think I would have been able to get rid of the enemy this turn anyway, so. Maybe next turn, if, depending on what we draw. Out of my face. Alright. So it's at 8. So we can do flex. I think we can do flex. I think now is a good time to do flex. So then we can do iron wave. So now the opponent's at 23. We can do headbutt to bring back. Guess really, really doesn't matter. We'll just get our highest damage card, which is probably Perfective Strike. We'll gain 5 block, so we have 12 blocks, so then this will deal 15. Alright, Gambler's Brew. Discard any number of cards and draw that many. We've got True Grit. I think True Grit is like the... It's a card where you have to play it where it's the only one in your hand, I think. Anyways, we're down 13 health, so Reaper Plus seems like a good thing to do. Same, same with Intimidate. So do Intimidate first. So 0 times 5 seems like a good thing. <laughs> so we can always do Reaper later. We, we can also heal 6, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's do Thunderclap to apply that vulnerable. So we can't actually get rid of the the bird right now. Or we can just do we can try and heal ourselves. Which I think I, I'll do that. So we're at full health and we can strike on the Chosen. So this is the 0 times 5 which is fine by me, but then we'll take six. Which should be fine. All right, so we can do two grit, but not really. So let's do seven block deal eight damage on the bird, maybe? Let's do cleave first. All right, 10 damage. Deal 8 damage. Because we can just block the damage from that. Deal 10 damage, deal 8 damage. So we can play... Pommel Strike on the Chosen. Because like, the like I said before, the 5 damage doesn't really matter since we have the armor for it. We can do the Iron Wave, so then we can do the Body Slam. And we'll do the Body Slam on the Bird, maybe. Get rid of it now before it becomes an issue. Oh no, uh, Flight. Receive 50% less attack damage, okay. So probably, eh, it's fine. I totally forgot about the flying bit. Hopefully it doesn't wreck me, but I don't, I don't think it will. Suffer. So we got a Hex. Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one days, but I mean our... Eh, maybe. Do this. We get a dazed, but... It is what it is. Deal 11 damage, draw 2 cards. Deal 13. Eh, let's do head up, Pommel Strike on the Chosen. So we have 1 mana left, or 1 energy left. Let's do a Headbutt. And then we can bring back Perfected Strike. Perfected Strike seems good because that's a one hit kill on the Chosen. Assuming we can play it. <laughs> so, oh, it's not a one hit, so it's less. But because, because we're weakened by three, or weakened for three turns, we'll just do a Perfected Strike into a strike. 
All right, 13 gold skill potion. Can you choose one of three random skill cards to add to your hand. You can discard the brew. Get the skill potion. Yeah, Clash Plus can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Eh, that's fine. We are at full health. We meet again. A cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you gleefully. You do not know this man. It's me, Ranwid. Okay. Have any goods for me today? The usual? A fellow like me can't make it alone, you know? You eye him suspiciously, suspiciously and consider your options. So I can lose the flux potion to obtain a relic. Okay. So we got the centennial puzzle. The first time you lose HP, draw three cards. My exquisite was feeling parched. He downs the potion in one go and lets out a satisfied burp. He rummages around his various pockets. Here's who, here, look what I've got for you today. Take it, take it. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's smith because our health is full. I need to get rid of some of the basic cards too. Let's see, gain nine block. The not the flex. This one applies too weak. Perfected strike, maybe? Let's do pommel strike, maybe. No, perfected strike. Gonna make that a little bit stronger. Alright, time to face the elite. Mr. Daggerhand. Book of Stabbing. So, let's do Intimidate. 4 times 2, 8 damage. We really probably should have done that honestly because we have the flame barrier, but this way we can just take the damage, do the flame barrier later. We'll bash, apply to two vulnerable. Then cleave. I'll actually pommel strike first, see what our options are because we have one minute left. Uh can't do clash because of flame barrier. And then let's do Thunderclap. Get more vulnerable. We'll take eight, but that should be fine for now. The wounds on the other hand, eh, maybe. <laughs> so six times three, that is 18. So we can do Iron Wave. Iron Wave for 12. So it's at 100. So two, we can do one defense to get 19 to, to negate the 18 damage and we'll just do one strike. All right. Twenty one damage. We can do, uh, ooh, perfected strike seems good. Hmm. Do barricade. Oh, I wish I had five so I can do true grit. <laughs> Let's do perfected strike. Into. Oh, uh, we're, we're going to be taking. Let's do true. Uh, let's do strike first and then true grit. Okay, that's fine. We'll be taking 14. And we get a wound. But I feel like we have this. So all of our cards in our hand are attack. So we can do that. That only does 17. I probably should have upgraded it. So let's do headbutt to bring back a card, which will bring the, if I can find it, perfect strike plus. So then we can do a pommel strike to draw a card, and we have two mana left to do perfected strike. So I mean there is some combo-iness, but it's it's not to, as extensive as the other two decks. At the start of your tur second turn, gain 14 block. Until next turn, per okay. And we got Carnage plus Ethereal. Neat. I'll take it. And then we can either rest or... You know, we only have 72 health. Uh, that, we'll just upgrade. Let's see. 
That's that. Hmm. Like, even if I upgrade it, it's only an uh, increase of six. I mean, that, that's still a lot. But for two? Hmm. Let's just do that. Pommel strike. So then we can draw two cards from it. Then we get a chest. Let's see what we can get. Charon, Karen's ashes. Whenever you exhaust a card, deal three damage to all enemies. I mean, with the with our deck, there is a few. There's quite a number of exhausts actually. Shell parasite and a fungi beast. All right. Whenever you attack this turn, deal damage back. I think I'll need to use this because there's 16 damage total. So let's see. Is there a way for me to get rid of 14 damage this turn? Seems yes. So we can do... But I know if I do this first I'll get a bigger body slam, but with the body slam I can get rid of the shield now. I probably, I probably should have defended, but eh. Let's do... Pommel Strike to get rid of another a stack of that into another Iron Wave. Get rid of stack of that. So in our turn, we won't take damage. But they they do take damage because they attack me with my flaming wall up. Alright. And then because of the horn cleat, we have 14 block, which will only take two if we don't add any more, which is nice. So we'll do barricade, because I feel like I mean, we're going to lose all of our things, but let's see. We'll clash for free. Get rid of a charge. We'll pommel strike, get rid of another charge. Intimidate for free to weaken them, so we'll only take 11. So we can keep some of the, of the block. So that being said, we can just attack, get rid of another charge. Alright, not not too bad. Alright, so we keep three. Alright, Reaper. Seems like a good thing to do, because this also deals more damage due to the ashes. So we'll do that. Or maybe... Hmm. So we can cleave, then Reaper. That way we'll heal, and then we'll we'll heal, and then we'll do uh, get rid of all of them. Shrug it off. I like that. All right, a Centurion and a Mystic. Alright, so what can we do? I think I should get rid of the Mystic first. So we'll do Bash to an Iron Wave and to a Defense so that we won't take any damage. The enemy will get buffed though. I don't I don't know. Oh, more, more strength. <laughs> so we get 14 the Centurion's gonna block. The Mystic's gonna do more buffs. So we're not gonna intimidate. Shrug it off, maybe? To deal a lot of damage. So we can Thunderclap. So that would be 18. We can Shrug it off to get a card draw. Cleave, 12 damage. And then we can body slam for 26. No, we can we can defend. And then body slam for 30. Or, or 46. Oh yeah, because of the vulnerable. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> and turn. Like the, the weak would... Even if I had done the weak, it was just leave him down a one. Oh, maybe I should have done that. <laughs> I, I'm sure we can do 15 though. 
Because with the Perfecto Strike, that's well more than enough. Alright, seeing red, gain two energy. So we're going through Act 2 pretty okay. Alright. That's a lot of buffs. Trying to do as much damage as possible. We'll do Pommel Strike just to see what our options are. Is every card in our art? That is not. Okay, so we can flex. So we have three mana left. Can clash. Deal 10 damage, deal 10 damage, deal 11 damage. So we can bash. And then might as well block. So get rid of one. Alright, at the end of this turn, gain three strength. We'll be getting hit for 12. But I mean, we have the 14 blocks, so that's fine. Let's see. Cleave's fine. Headbutt into. Let's see, do I have any other. Maybe Clash. So then we can do a Pommel Strike to draw two cards. Then we can Clash. Apply Weak first, Exhaust three damage, and then we can Clash. 19 damage. And we can cleave to get rid of one. Then we can either... Oh, we can do both of this. We can strike. And then we can do 15 damage. Alright, that, turn, that turned out pretty well. Oh, that's not good though. Or maybe it is. <laughs> Deal six. No, we don't even need to do the Reaper. Shrug it off. Gain 11 block, draw a card. Or we can just do a perfect. Uh, like, we've been relying on Perfecto Strike a lot. It's, like, it, it seems like it's a really good card. Body Slam. Deal a, a damage equal to your block. Alright. I wish we had a shop along the way that wasn't. I guess we didn't really have a shop this turn. We could have had a shop if we went to the right side, but. Eh, it is what it is. Flights. All right. Hmm. So. Oh, we don't have the weakness. So we'll do Iron Wave on the Chosen. Iron Wave on the Chosen. Into Headbutt on the Chosen. <laughs> Getting back the Iron Wave, we'll defend. And then we will body slam the chosen. So I guess maybe you can call this a combo since we actually did play our entire hand. Maybe. So let's see, we'll do bash to deal with vulnerable. We'll do iron wave into a strike into oh we can't do defense i mean we have enough to get rid of the the chosen all that's left is the bird and i heard it's the word <laughs> all right reaper do i i don't even need to do reaper so gain let's gain so let's see a pommel strike So you can do barricade, defense, and then we'll do true grit, and we'll, we'll retain that 12. Let me do that. So I think we have have this round in the bag. Kaka. All right. 
We'll do that. So two, and then we'll strike. 20 gold, we have so much gold. Oh, war cry, draw two cards, put a card from your hand on top of the draw pile, and exhaust. Like, we have so many exhaust cards. Oh, not that. Let's see, we have one right here, that's two. That's three, four, five. So we have five, so about a sixth of the deck has exhaust. Let's go for the question mark. A man with an eye patch and a devilish grin strides up, up to you. Hey there, stranger. Interested in advancing science? I can make you stronger than any tranny or blessing. You're gonna need it if you're one of those heroes with a death wish. What do you say? Test Jax. Get Jax. Lose 3 HP, gain 2 strength. Become test subject, transform 2 cards. Ingest mutagens. Obtain a special relic. Uh, start each combat with 3 strength. At the end of your first turn, lose 3 strength. Hmm. This seems fine. This seems fine. Although, if I transform 2 cards, I can transform the basic cards. Let's do, let's do mutagens. At the start, gain with, start each combat with 3 strength. At the end of your first turn, lose 3 That seems fine. Marvelous. You quaff the mysterious substance. Immediately, you are invigorated and you feel muscle fibers twitch. Okay, and we can also upgrade a card. So, this is free. That seems good. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Free energy. I like that. Alright, second boss. What are you, the collector? Oh boy. So what can I do? Shrug I don't like uh, the enemy intentions. Uh, at least it's not attacking. But I have all these defense cards. So we'll uh, shrug it off, draw a card, see what our options are. Iron Wave, sure. And then, I guess we'll play every card besides the flex. Maybe I should play the flex, but I don't know. So we'll do Body Slam. Oh, that's a lot of minions. Torch Heads. So at least we can do... We'll do Barricade. Do barricade and then thunderclap and to a strike. Minion abandons combat with oh so if we kill the leader then these two go away. So I probably should have attacked the, the collector. Or maybe if I because I need to get rid of them as well. But I do have some like, let's do that. Let's do a headbutt. Bringing back the flame barrier. Do iron wave. So we have 23. We'll be taking 19. All right. We can intimidate. So do intimidate. Then flame barrier carnage, I think. Hmm. So we'll do flame barrier, get hit, do carnage. Because if this card is at the end of your turn is exhausted. So that'll, that'll deal 3 damage to all enemies, but if I use it, I can deal 29. Or I can do defense and then clash? Well, let's just do carnage. I can do body slam too. Might as well do that. 
Alright, so we'll take 14. But that should be fine. You are mine. Oh, I don't like that. We can- oh, we can put one frail for three. Ugh. Perfected strike. War cry. Put- draw two cards, put a card from your hand on top of the pile. Let's do that. Let's see what our options are. We'll do seeing red at the top because we can draw it with pommel strike. So I'll do that. Seeing red, gain two energy. We'll do a cleave. We'll do defense just because we kind of have to. And we'll do perfected strike. And then strike. <laughs> so we'll be taking... So that's 46. We'll be taking 41 damage. Oh boy. Alright, so we can Reaper. We kinda need to Reaper. So let's do Reaper. So that gets rid of one. We won't be taking damage. So that's good. So let's do a... We can do Bash, but then it won't really matter. Let's do a Pommel Strike. See what we can draw up. So we got two strikes. Let's just do an Iron Wave. It's just, it's just a strictly better strike. And then we can keep the five. Okay, we'll be taking 36 <laughs> if we don't do anything. So can we... We don't have anything to draw. So that being said, we'll do Thunderclap. Into a headbutt. Bringing back the iron way just because we can at least then get some block next turn to a perfected strike into body slam hopefully we'll be fine <laughs> we're at four <laughs> hopefully uh we'll shrug it off yes it's a carnage so that's 29 damage, that will bring the opponent down to 19. I don't think we have enough to do 19 with just one mana. So let's do Iron Wave. Like the best we can do is just try and... get block. So this will get 25. So then we can do one more. So do 7 damage. Here, and then True Grit. So we will survive this one turn. Okay. I also forgot we have po- I, I keep forgetting we have potions. <laughs> like, the, the weak would have helped at some point in time too, but we're, we're still alive. We're still alive. Alright, so we can do... I think we have enough. So let's do a flex. So we'll do... 10... I don't think we have enough actually. <laughs> Oops. Do Iron Wave. Actually, maybe... Maybe we'll see what the skill. Draw a card, choose an attack or a power card, add a copy of that card into your hand. Yes. So we can do this. So we get two strikes. Right, is that enough? That's still not enough. <laughs> I mean, that that's enough if I do the potion. Gain the block. Like, do I, do I really? Yeah, let's, let's just end this. <laughs> And I, I, I'm pretty sure I misplayed a couple of times, wasted a potion here or there, but it, it is what it is. We got Impervious. Gain 30 block, Exhaust. 
Okay, so what do we get? So we got a tiny house. Upon pickup, obtain one potion, gain 50 gold, raise your max HP by 5. Obtain one card, upgrade a random card. So this one, gain energy at the start of your turn. You cannot play more than 6 cards per turn. Have I really been... Have I played more than 6 cards a turn in the past? I mean, with the energy I might be, because I already have the busted crown. Upon pickup, transform three cards, then upgrade them. Hmm. I think the six cards thing, I don't like I don't remember if I play more than six per turn. I remember playing like three or four, but maybe sometimes six. So maybe the better option would be to eh, I got 420 gold. <laughs> Upon pickup, obtain one potion. Race max HP. This seems good. Like, I don't know, they both seem good. In different ways. So let's, let's just do the tiny house. Yeah, we got bash plus. Nice. We got a speed potion. Dexterity improves, improves block. And we got a sword boomerang. Oh, not, not too bad. Alright, so we finished act two. That was very close although I think the, the closest it could have been was me being at one but yeah I, I probably misplayed a little bit at the final battle but luckily we still eked out a win and now we're in an act three so I'll continue this in the next video so hope you enjoyed it until next time this has been another slay the spire video thank you for watching and have a nice day